Okay, so I already loaded this. I was just gonna show you guys how I do it. So I tested that cap to 200 here, and then they come with these. Just pull the top off, and this cap comes off. Oh, hold on, I get paid with my hand. And this screws into there. So that's ready. I just gotta take the cap off and then Cody will give this to me. And then for the HCG, I use these little, uh, sorry, I keep looking over here, but the camera's over here. I use these little guys. I already have two wipes ready. So both of these medications are refrigerated. Um, it comes in this little thing. Pull the tab up off of here, and then you can stick the needle right in there. So, what is he doing out there? What you did yesterday? Gotta flip it upside down to get the juice in there. Yeah, you said to put the air out first. Yeah, you were doing it. You did it a couple of times. You put the air in. Oh. Now just flip it. And then this one is 20 units. Oh, this feels weird. He's more used to doing it because he does it with his insulin for his type one diabetes. are both ready to go and it is 5:43. Um, I'm gonna be doing these at 6 o'clock so I will be back in about 15 minutes and that one first take it <clears throat> That one, I think it always has that though because you only get what, I don't think you can get it out. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. <laughs> was it me? I've done it on video too, so. I think it was there yesterday, so. <clears throat> chair. Oh, no. 
else is moving. It's fun. <laughs> <clears throat> the first one didn't hurt as bad as yesterday. I mean, it didn't hurt that bad, but it was definitely... <clears throat> felt it more than the other shots we have given myself. So, all right, I'm going to clean this up, and then go take my oral meds, and we'll see you tomorrow. Easter right now at my grandma's so change the scenery a little bit get you guys set up down here hopefully the camera doesn't fall okay so HCG shot is first you're doing it on your left my right <clears throat> really hot in here. Ready? Yep. Oh, is that a needle? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Hey, guys. So it is day six. It is currently 9 a.m. 
I just got home from work um, and took like an hour and a half nap. I had to wake up because I had to do this injection. Um, I started a new one today and I have an ultrasound at 10. So today we are starting the Ganorilix um, every morning before 10 a.m. So I'm just going to do it by 9 o'clock. Um, but I also have to go hold my clinic real quick because they never sent my lab order request for the ultrasound and blood work today um, in my portal. So I need to get them real quick or have them fax them to my uh, normal OB because we're traveling patients so we're monitoring out of town. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make this quick. I'm gonna set you guys down. Um, hopefully you can see. This one does go on the stomach as well. Um, and I already got it ready last night. <clears throat> I got it ready yesterday because um, this one comes with a really big air bubble. Like, I'll show you tomorrow um, what it looks like before I get the air bubble out, but it was huge. Okay, so this is out and ready. It's already a preloaded syringe. <clears throat> I'm gonna regret doing it lower because I feel like my skin's thicker down there, but <clears throat> also <clears throat> they said that um this shot in particular causes rashes for some people. I'm like wild on coming on my TikTok so you guys can see. Okay, that was fine. I actually didn't feel that at all. Um, but I wasn't holding it with my other hand, so I was like, didn't want to break the skin feeling. It was weird. Okay, so um, I gotta call my clinic and rush over to the doctor so I can get the ultrasound done so you can see how big our eggs have gotten. Uh, I started my meds Friday for stims, and I guess I don't need to read that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look terrible, but I literally rolled out of bed. I didn't even touch my hair yet. Um, but we started stims Friday the 7th. Today is Wednesday the 12th, so almost the whole week. I'm definitely feeling it. My ovaries um, feel full. I don't want to wear pants that are too tight. Uh, yeah, it's feeling it so we're gonna go see how big our eggs have gotten and how many there are and we'll check in afterwards okay I'm back um <laughs> I'm gonna move you guys down a shelf and then um we'll do the injection I do have a little bit of bruising from yesterday's um not the Ganorelix but um my HCG and my gonal F yesterday me for whatever reason it hasn't yet but yesterday it did setting you guys up on my bookshelf <clears throat> yeah I took my shirt into my bra because I literally my boobs are so big I literally can't see my stomach For some reason, I don't know if this needle's a little bit thicker, but it doesn't like break through my skin as easy as the one of the other ones, I should say. Yeah, I don't know if the needle 
color is just thicker or what, but. Um, so I'll probably come back. Maybe I'll show you guys. Hold on. <clears throat> I'll probably come back and show you guys um, the reaction I get because I did have a rash yesterday and it was really itchy. It's like welted up a little bit. And I'm saving all of my needles. Um, let's see if you can see in there. There's quite a few already. So when we have a pregnancy announcement, I'm going to put them around the sign. Um, but yeah. I am getting ready to leave. I'm chopping all my hair off. Um, I actually chopped my hair off last year. I took 18 inches off and it's grown quite a bit. <clears throat> but I'm thinking, I'm doing like my shoulder to collarbone. I've never had short hair in my entire life. I've always been really attached to my hair. So, um, should be interesting to say the least and I'm a little nervous but I get headaches all the time so I'm trying to cut it so that I'm not wearing it I'm sorry <clears throat> a little congested I'm trying to cut it so that I don't have to wear it up all the time because I think wearing it up all the time is part of my problem and I work in correction so I have to wear my hair up if it's um, past my collar on my shirt so I'm thinking if I have short enough hair I can wear it down that it won't be as bad and like my hair won't be pulling on my scalp all the time. So yeah, I will probably be back after my haircut and I'll give you guys a little update on um, my nurse's call and my ultrasound results in lab work from yesterday. We're doing injections in the Taco Bell, Taco Bell parking lot. Ain't that right, Soki? <laughs> so, I've used all three pens. I have 50 left in each, so he's got to stab me three times, plus my HCG. So, um, and there's a little air bubble in him, so he's going to try to get it out. Let me get my little alcohol wipe out. Oh, that's probably why you're getting all these. Well, it's supposed to be like an inch or two from the belly button. There we go. Trying to get the air bubble out because I can get it from this one and put it in the lips. Why don't you do these two pens first and then we'll figure out that last one? We had to drive to. Oops, I don't want to say that. People don't even know where we live. I'll cut that out. We had to drive like two hours away to go get medicine because I didn't have enough of the gonna laugh. <clears throat> so. But it's a vial and not a pen. Um, there should only be 50 in there, but it's just going to push whatever's left. tiny air bubble on that one, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I'm going to start trying to suck the air bubble out. There's people in the parking lot. They probably think we're a bunch of druggies because we're literally sitting right in front of the door. Mm. 
not gonna work. These new? These heads? Yeah. You should have these little plastic pieces over the thing, so it's not new. I just put it on there. Well, that one didn't have it because you were, me that was the one with the air bubble. Oh. You were messing with it, so you already took it off. Air bubble's still in there, so. That's good. At least it's not in my body. I ain't trying to die today. See? Oh. Yeah, so you were, that's the one you were messing with. Oh, there's an air bubble in this one, too. Little one or big one? Now we're gonna go get some Taco Bell and some Baja Blast. I have going to left for the next three days. It's in the vial though, so I had to figure out, I had to read the directions on how to use it because it's like powdery, pasty, and then you have to insert a syringe or something. I don't even know. I have to look it up, so. Okay, bye. Hey guys, Future Aubrey here. I just wanted to pop in and say um, I was planning on doing every day um, my injections as videos. However, some of the days fell on days I had to work, so I was in my uniform and I don't really feel comfortable posting online um, 
me and my uniform because it shows where I work because I work in law enforcement. So um, you'll see a couple days skipped and that's why. So I just want to pop in and let you guys know that and then um, I'll probably put this at the end of the video. So next time you guys see us, we will be having a vlog on our traveling to New York to go to the fertility clinic for my egg retrieval. So we will see you in the next one.